Hi, I'm Pumpkin, and this is my twin sister Zizi, and we are known as one of the hottest twin sisters in the United States. You see, when we were young, everyone admired how pretty we were, even though my parents are kind of hideous. So, when we grew up, Zizi and I started getting plastic surgeries to look even hotter. When I got a nose job, Zizi wanted one too, and when she got breast implants, I did it with her. We promised each other that we will always do everything together. And by everything, I mean every single thing. When I first got a boyfriend, for example, Zizi got super jealous because she couldn't spend much time with me anymore. So I decided that we were going to date Dan together because I depended on Dan financially and we couldn't afford to lose him. She started joining us on dates and it escalated until the point where she was sleeping with us in the same bed. But when it got to having a little fun time in bed, Zizi refused to join us and it made Dan really upset. He thought that it was weird that she watched us kissing and mingling with each other but never really joined. Until one time, Zizi touched Dan's leg and he thought that she had changed her mind. So he started making moves on her and it got her really angry. So both of them started fighting and we ended up kicking Dan out of bed. I hugged Zizi all night because I didn't want her to feel bad and I blocked Dan from everywhere for being rude with my sister. Since that day, Zizi and I decided that we didn't need a guy and we started working together at a grocery store to support ourselves. So, we worked as cashiers. There were no other cashiers working at the same stand together, but our boss allowed us to work like this because we were hot and that attracted customers. And he was right! Business in the store was booming. All the guys lined up to pay at our stand and they ignored all the other cashiers. So my boss decided to fire every other cashier at the store. After that, Zizi and I became the cashier department managers and our paycheck doubled. We were so happy. So then our boss came and asked us if we can start wearing sexy clothes to work to attract more customers. At first, we said no, but when he said that our paycheck would triple, we couldn't refuse. So we started wearing bunny ears and short pink skirts that had bunny tails on them. After that, Zizi and I started making a lot of money. Each of our salaries went up to $10,000, so we moved into a new apartment that had a big pool and a hot jacuzzi. But then, our boss complained that customers were getting upset because we refused to go out with any of them. He said that if we didn't keep the customers happy, he would fire us. Zizi and I decided that we'll go out with one of the customers. Meanwhile, we look for a new job. As for our plan, well, there was a really cute guy named Roberto who was visiting the store every day. Zizi and I really liked him, but then he asked me out. He thought that I was the hotter twin, and it made Zizi very upset. So, the next day when I saw Roberto, I told him that I cannot date him. I didn't want to upset my sister because she liked him too. But that's when Roberto went up to Zizi and asked her out. I thought Zizi would say no because she knew I liked him, but that hoe said yes. I saw her flirting with him and touching his shoulder, and then they held hands. I got angry. I grabbed Zizi by her hair and took her to the car with me. You hoe, you know I like Roberto. But then Zizi was like, so what? He asked me out and I said yes. I was so upset. So I went up to Roberto and I told him that I would gladly go out with him. Roberto said, sure, and then he told me that he'll pick me up at night. At 9 o'clock, I was waiting for him outside my house, but that's when my sister stood beside me, and she looked like she was ready for a date. He was taking us on the same date together. I screamed at Zizi, told her to go away, but she was being such a bit, so I took off my expensive heel and I hit her with it on the face. Zizi and I started fighting. When Roberto got there, we were on the ground. Most of our clothes had been ripped in the fight, and our faces were smudged with makeup. Roberto started laughing at us. He asked us to calm down, and we went back to the house to fix ourselves. We then all agreed that we should go out together on the date. It made sense, because the three of us liked each other. So we decided to try it out and see what happens. Roberto took us to a really nice restaurant. He held both of our hands, flirted with both of us, and at the end of the date, each of us got a French kiss. It wasn't that bad, to be honest. Sharing Roberto, I mean. Zizi was super fun, too, and I was used to her company. Since that day, we started dating Roberto together, and we did all the couple things with him. It was awesome. We left our job at the grocery store because Roberto didn't want all these men checking us out, and he started providing us with all the money we needed. But don't get me wrong, this wasn't a sugar daddy sugar baby relationship, because we were in love. A year after, Roberto proposed to us. He said that we were the love of his life and that he couldn't live without either of us. There was a lot to consider, but... How could I say no to marrying the same guy with my twin sister and spending the rest of my life with the two people I love most? On the wedding day, Zizi and I walked down the aisle with our dad and Roberto stood there with tears in his eyes while looking at us. 
The wedding was just magical. After the wedding, Roberto planned a honeymoon for us all to Zimbabwe. It was so much fun. We visited all kinds of forests, took pictures with snakes, and dined in some smoked crocodile tail. When we were on our way back on the plane, Zizi started screaming and swearing. Everyone was looking at us. I wanted to hit her in the face with my heel again, but she wouldn't shut up. She then held her breasts and said she was in so much pain. She still wouldn't shut up when we got to the airport, so Roberto took her to the hospital. Turns out that one of Zizi's breasts had burst on the plane. The doctor said her silicone implant burst because of the pressure in the airplane. The surgeons then removed one of her breasts, and Zizi was left with only one breast. She was upset about it, but I kind of thought that it was cool. Roberto, however, did not think likewise. He thought that it looked weird, and on top of that, he started to distinguish between us. I can finally see who was the annoying twin and who's the cool one, he said. After that, Roberto didn't want to be married to Zizi anymore. Zizi was devastated, and she started wearing a fake breast that she stuck on her chest so people wouldn't notice. After that, Roberto only wanted to hang out with me. He would make Zizi clean and cook for us. He kicked her from the bed the three of us used to sleep in, and he wouldn't let her talk. I felt sorry for my sister, but on the other hand, I was still in love with Roberto, and I enjoyed being married to him. That's until the time we found out that Zizi was pregnant from Roberto. When he found out, he was so upset. He said that he didn't want a child from a one-breasted woman, and he wanted to kick her out. I told him that if Zizi left, I was going to leave with her. So we all agreed that she stays and that she would have this baby. But when the baby was born, Roberto never touched him. He said that he doesn't feel like he was even the father because the baby didn't look like him, and that he was sure that Zizi had cheated on him. So he sent her to live in a different house with the baby, and Roberto and I stayed in the house alone. I was upset about it, but I couldn't do anything because Roberto was so controlling. After that, Zizi tried to file for divorce so she can get money and child support from Roberto, but she later found out that he was only legally married to me because he can't marry two people at the same time. Basically, she had no right to ask him for any money. My sister was so angry, she came to me for help and asked me to divorce him so we can split the money and live happily together alone. But I refused. Who said that I had to leave Roberto just because the marriage didn't work out on her side? When I told her this, Zizi had a big fight with me and we ended up not speaking to each other. After Zizi left, life with Roberto became hell. He would make me wear maid clothes and force me to serve him and obey his orders. He also said that he wanted a baby from me, but I didn't want to get pregnant from him, so I started taking birth control pills without his knowledge. Until one day, Roberto found out about the pills and he took them away from me. I couldn't stand living with him, so after a while, I decided that I would run away to Zizi and I would file for divorce. So I waited one night until Roberto was fast asleep and I took my stuff and went to Zizi's. I got to her place at three in the middle of the night. But Zizi kicked me out and said that I was a horrible sister and that she would never forgive me. I slept on the doorstep all night, and the next morning Zizi forgave me, and she let me in. I started living with my twin sister and her baby. I was very happy that I was finally away from Roberto the monster. Until one morning, I woke up sick and I started puking uncontrollably. Turns out, Roberto had gotten me pregnant after all. When I went to see the doctor, he informed me that I was, in fact, pregnant with twins. Semitic twins, just like Zizi and I. This news had made Zizi very happy, but we had to hide this from Roberto so he wouldn't take our babies. So before my pregnancy started showing, Zizi and I filed for divorce. We hired a really good lawyer, and the court ruled that Roberto had to pay me half of his fortune. When I saw the check I had received after, I couldn't believe it. It was three million dollars. I knew Roberto was rich, but I had no idea he was this rich. Anyway... I split the check with Zizi, and we raised our three children together in a loving home. Did you like my story? Please comment, like, and subscribe for more.